Hey there, everybody. Tip number six, update your LinkedIn profile. Update the photo. Again, if it's over five years, get a new photo done. Make sure that's professional. For a lot of people that roll around with an iPhone 10, i11, 12, 13, there's a portrait function. You can use that where it kind of uh, um, gets rid of the background. A lot of people, you could do it at the very um, early, uh, kind of not very early, but the earlier part of the morning using natural light outside of your house, outside of an apartment complex that's got brick in the background, that's got maybe a white wall. Um, just put on um, you know, your professional top and take a photo from basically here up. Um, you wanna be able to update that uh, um, as your first digital resume that people are gonna end up looking at, right? So the moment that you say yes to an interview, a lot of times we're gonna do on our end, the, the interviewer, we're going to um, Google your name to see if anything weird comes up. We're gonna look you up, find you up on LinkedIn. We're gonna look through your profile. We're gonna maybe even look into Facebook and see um, where are some of your political standings? What are some of your, your post standings, right? Um, you, of course, have the right to be able to put whatever you want else, want up. That's your choice. We also have the opportunity to hire who we want into our firm. So have a look at what you're putting on your LinkedIn. Start with the picture, then look at uh, your about, about me. Um, what does it say that you're looking for? If it says, for example, hey, I'm looking for a, a role where I can work in project management in the oil and energy sector and um, here in the city of Denver, and you're interviewing with me for a um, insurance specialist role here in my office in Houston, I don't know why you accepted to take the interview. Heck, I don't know why you even might've implied or maybe why you got referred to us by one of our coworkers. So that's something that you would wanna be able to make sure that you update is the about me section of your LinkedIn. Next one is look at your, um, your, your, um, your various roles that you've had. Put some of the things that you've done, that you've accomplished, whether it was you or part of the team, what were some of the results? What were some of the action steps that you did? Did you lead the team uh, to um, you know, a 8% growth year over year for the last decade? Did you earn any specific awards? Uh, feel free to put any kind of interest that you have or any other skills or any uh, um, accomplishments or certificates that you've accomplished. Put that on your LinkedIn. Think of LinkedIn as your digital resume and also a digital portfolio. So it's an opportunity that you can then showcase. So if I'm in marketing, I can showcase some of the videos that I've had in a post and then put that as a featured um, post in my LinkedIn profile. And so that's an opportunity that I can showcase all the great things that I do. So definitely think about updating your LinkedIn to showcase all the great things that you got going on. Terms out.